Hey Vault Hunters, Stud Doogie here with what's probably going to be a 20 minute video to uh, explain something that's probably going to take you 5 minutes. So what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be doing the commentary version of my trial of survival run. You guys can thank uh, William Petrocelli for this video. Uh, he asked me to do this, so uh, aim to please. So, um, yeah, the chance, I'm not going to probably get it done in five minutes while I'm talking because I can't do it in five and talk. Maybe I'll get lucky, but that's not been the case so far. So what I will do, though, is I will I will break it down, and then I'll probably do another run where I'm muted, and I'll just run and see, see that it's repeatable. Let's see what modifiers we have. Normal, yeah, it's it's neutral. Um, so the the bell of the ball is a Nukem. I'm doing this with the Nukem because it's a fun gun for me. Uh, the Nukem is not a mo the most powerful um, heavy weapon. It's not really that powerful to be honest, but um, we can make it work, and it's just a fun gun because of its explosions and the the awesome sound design on this weapon. This is our second win weapon, and the boss killer. And this we're going to give to our clone, so we can keep our we can get max ammo or infinite ammo. Uh, the rerouter works well with this build, and I'll explain why that is when we get into the skill tree. I'm using a seeing dead com here. That's not crucially important. A seeing dead or an executor, uh, just so long as we have at least two points in playing dirty, because playing dirty is the big damage boost for this particular build. So. Um, I'm using a calm because it does it's I have one that has splash damage and weapon damage and we want that to maximize the damage on the nukem because it's like I said it's not that powerful I'm using the piss it doesn't really matter what the grenade is what we really care about is the 25% on throw uh, bonus cut purse I wish I had one that had victory rush because that would eke out just a little bit more damage with all the badasses that we might face, but this is good enough. What's really important though is the area of effect and the heavy damage, and of course the fact that it's a cut purse so we can keep, get infinite ammo. And in case you're unaware, you know it says melee enemies to steal ammo. Redundant face puncher counts as a melee, so these two in concert is how you refill ammo. And when you give it to the clone, whatever weapon you have in hand while the clone is shooting something, that gun gets its ammo refilled. Okay, onto the build. Nothing special here. So, violent speed and violent momentum, because we need to get down the tree. We don't do a ton of sliding, and we probably can't do a ton of sliding, especially in the first part, because the 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 spider ants, their, their attack is sticky, and it slows you. It's like cryo. Uh, so, but we do need to get down the tree. One point in salvation because we are spamming rockets and one is enough to get us to full health. Uh, this is probably one of the most important skills next to playing dirty because the um, the Nukem only has one round in the mag. So our DPS is bounded by our reload speed because every single time we fire we have to reload. So this is really important. So at least four points. Five doesn't make a huge difference but getting to four does. Death follows close, of course, for the duration and the 25% bonus. Playing dirty, this is the big ticket item in this tree. Uh, good misfortune, good to have, not absolutely critical, but definitely good to have. Bad dose for movement speed, booms a day so that our um, our sentinel can uh, can keep our action or calm procced. Synchronicity, so we get 40% 40% gun damage because we're going to have most of our both of our action skills up most of the time. Donnybrook is the big DPS monster in this tree because of the 2x stacking. We need this for the on-throw anointment. Quick breather. So it's these two why the rerouter is a good choice because with quick breather, we can control the recharge delay, right? Because whenever we swap, our shield starts recharging. So we don't need to wait on the shield to fully recharge or wait on the natural delay. We have control over it. And then with um, Schadenfreude, we may not even need to swap because when the clone takes damage, that damage will most of the time heal our shield. So that's why the rerouter is a good option because these two can keep it pretty full. Uh, double banger, of course, so that we can kill the clone as we move through zones. We don't have to wait for him to, to time out naturally. I don't like old you, which is why there's a point in pocket full of grenades. Um, we have enough grenades that 
whenever we call the clone in the three zones, three or four zones we have to clear, that will will have the three grenades for boom enhance. So, um, but we need to spend a point somewhere. So one point here, three points here. So super sponsor, ah, supersonic man, movement speed, uh, trick of the light. That's a DPS boost and boom enhance not crucial but useful and we have to get down the tree so that's why that's there double barrel absolute required so we can give our clone the face puncher so that's it for the build let's see what modifiers we have i think i did this already bullet damage okay so i'm gonna s walk through this kind of slow all right put them out swap so we clear the left side first because that's where they begin spawning. So there's going to be something that spawns here. And then one up here. And swap with our clone, position him so he can uh, start pissing on things that are going to come out right in front of him. So where he is... Yeah, yeah, those guys. So I'm, I'm just staying away. Then it's going to be on the right side. I'm going to do this and swap. So, and then I'm going to be on the right side on this ledge over here. I'm going to slide and swap again. So now that he's blown up, I'm going to put him here. And then we got one more guy to clear. And then they're going to start spawning on the right and on the left over here. So it's all about knowing the spawns. And waiting for them to actually spawn. Because the red dots will show up before they're actually in the world. So I'm going to get swap. Nice damage boost on that one. All right, we're gonna kill him. He's already dead. We're good. There's gonna be one right in front of us. We just need to get close enough to trigger the spawn. And I generally wait till he touches the ground because sometimes I can't kill him when, when he's on his thing. So I wait. There'll be two dogs spawning over here. Okay, I'm gonna put the clone out. Then I'm gonna do this. Kill that guy. Then we'll kill these guys. And you're going to start coming over here on the left once we clear these guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Out of the garage. Not on the left yet. Put him here. So when he, they start coming out, he can piss on them. There's somebody behind us. Just jump back a little bit so we don't blow ourselves up. A lot of guys over here. Nice jump shot. Get us a nice little damage boost here. Then you're going to start coming on the right. You're not quite in the world yet, but you can see him on the coming out. So I'm going to get a little bit closer, put him here so he can piss on him. Alright, we'll just kill this guy. We're going to recall him. Okay, so we one in front of us and then one behind us. We turn around and we one on our left. So we're going to rotate again. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Again, I like to wait till they get on the ground and then we start spawning skags okay let's get him spawned up so you can start pissing on some stuff nice little piss there okay so we have to work this right side okay let's see if we get that guy yep again I'm staying back here because they keep spawning this is what I'm I was trying to avoid that splash damage doesn't work what the hell? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So you have to get a direct hit. All right, let's get this guy killed. All right, let's move him up. Let's get him a little bit closer so we can get some more piss action going. And move him again because I like to have him piss on him. Okay, it's good that he's dead. Uh, so we will have him for the boss fight. Yeah, these guys are going to keep trying to evolve, so it's best to just keep this gun out. Okay, that's everybody. Alright, so we're going to give him the... Um, ion cannon because he can kill the dogs he can kill the little dogs 
get close, swap, get that damage buff anointment. That's a one shot. We'll swap again. Uh, wait for the reset. Swap. Wait for his health to come back. I don't know why I didn't have my shield. Okay, that's it. Oh, 25 minutes. Okay, I didn't have to redo it. So, yeah. So that's how it's done. It's not hard. Just as long as you understand the spawns, you're going to be okay. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. And uh, William, I hope I pronounced your last name right. Take it easy, bro.